cracker this one. Uh, happily married, she has two beautiful girls, stepson, and probably the most impressive part is that she's a biologist. She's in biochemistry, the department right here. How could anybody do that? Anyway, what, what's unfortunate about the whole story is that her life came to a screeching halt when she found out she had a rare form of cancer, and it's angiosarcoma. She found out in May of this year. She's fighting the fight. She's not going to let it get her down. One of the things I said to her is, how you feeling? How do you do this? She said, well, if you get a time stamp on your life, what are you going to do? You cry about it or make the most of it? She's an amazing person. Let's listen to her right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Corey Painter. so much for that kind introduction. And I'd like nothing more than to get up here before all of you here today and talk about what it's like to be Corey Painter, the mother, the wife, the graduate student here at this fine university. But as many of you know, when you get a cancer diagnosis, your life is completely redefined. So let me take a moment to introduce you to who I have had to become. My name is Angiosarcoma. I'm an incredibly rare, incredibly aggressive cancer that starts in the lining of your blood vessels. I metastasize freely and can end up anywhere in your body at any point in your life for reasons that are secrets to me. In this era of research and discovery, I've been left widely alone to invade whomever I please. I'm smart, and I know that if I only select a handful of people, then nobody's going to care. Nobody's going to fund the research that's going to be necessary in order to eradicate me altogether. I'm an equal opportunist. I don't discriminate. So I don't care if you're an Atlanta city cop. I don't care if you're a bright and talented young artist out in California, or if you're fresh out of college, eager to start your first post as a teacher. It makes no difference to me whatsoever if you have beautiful young children who have the sole expectation that you will be there to tuck them in the next night. I am angiosarcoma, and I have one purpose, and one purpose alone, and that is to ravage your body. But you know what, folks? I don't want to be angiosarcoma anymore. I want to be Cory Gaynor. I want to be the wife, the mother, and the graduate student of biomedical sciences here at this fine university. I don't want to be angiosarcoma anymore and have my life defined by this insidious disease but that can only happen by one thing and that's from all of you here today to donate generously to the cancer researchers because it's the cancer researchers who are going to develop that next novel therapy it's the cancer researchers who are going to be able to figure out the genetic underpinnings. It's the cancer researchers that are going to publish that next article that's going to give me hope. And when I look out and I see you all here unified for the singular purpose of curing cancer, it gives me that hope. When I look out, I just want to thank each and every one of you for being here and donating generously. Because by those donations, all of you have allowed me to take back my name. Thank you. Good luck following that. Yeah, thanks. Wow, Corey, thank you so much. And you are Corey. Okay, now you know why you're here, right? Many of us up here know somebody who has fought the disease. Some have Thanks survived it. Making me cry. Some unfortunately haven't. And have fun, okay? including my own mom passed away. How are you? Hey, how's it going?